What's going on guys? It's your boy, Minna Man. Cringe intro? Aren't all my intros cringe? Anyways, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a video I've kind of wanted to do for like the past two years, but I just have been too lazy to do it until this moment because FIFA and technology sent me a microphone to test for a video and I'm like okay how am I going to test this thing out am I just going to test it by itself no we're not going to test it just by the mic itself let's compare it to something that a lot of YouTubers use which is something I have right here the Yeti microphone so yeah I use the the blue Yeti all the time that's my main mic that's the mic you're listening to at this moment and this mic right here is a $30 mic <clears throat> that I'm going to see if it could compare to this Yeti $100 microphone. Because I know not everybody has the money to be shelling out this high amount of money for microphones for their YouTube channel. That might be really small. They're trying to see where the channel's going to go. And, uh, you know, I totally understand that. It, you know, money is valuable. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to unbox this mic. We're going to see how it sounds and how it compares to the Yeti mic. See if the quality isn't that much different. And also for, I guess, a little bit more personal reasons, I want to use this mic for my PlayStation, uh, especially when I'm streaming. And it's supposed to come with a mute button. Uh, so that's going to be super helpful when I'm streaming. And I'm hoping the uh, notification doesn't come up on screen saying, oh, you, you disconnected your mic or whatever every time I want to talk to chat versus when I'm talking to like um, people I'm playing a game with. So let's unbox this thing. Uh, let's see what we get uh, on the top of the box. Uh, we just have some uh, instructions about how the about what the mic is. This is the k052 uh it is a usb microphone so that's always a plus um don't want to have one of those mics to plug into a mixer that's another level <laughs> comes packaged pretty safely so that nothing uh so no, nothing breaks so that's the box foam opening there we go here is the microphone in its glory Wow, there we are. It's a bit tall. <laughs> I think it would have been fine if it was like this high. Like, I, I don't see the purpose of it being so high and, and tall. <laughs> also take note, looks like they put a pop filter on it. Uh, in case you're doing commentaries or whatever, you won't get those pop pop popping sounds you don't want in your videos. So that, that's always good. So right here is the mute button. I'm hoping it's not just an on and off switch. That wouldn't really work well with the PlayStation. We'll find out. And then also right here, you can control how uh, loud you are um, on your microphone so that other people can hear you uh, without having to uh, scratch their ears out. So this is all well and good so far. Let's see how this sounds. I'm gonna throw some gameplay under the commentary. No music, because we just wanna see what this mic sounds like and then I'll do a compare with the Yeti mic. Alrighty, this is a test of the Feet Find microphone. I'm about a foot away from the mic. Uh, in my Audacity program, it looks like I'm talking extremely loud. And uh, I'm not really talking that loud. I'm talking pretty much an inside voice. But how does the, the quality of the microphone sound? Is it pretty good? Is it is it chocolatey? You know, you know what I mean? Like chocolate to your ears. Um, hopefully it's not too bright or edgy. We don't want like that kind of quality. But would this work for a commentary if I was just talking about Fortnite over this gameplay, you know? Uh, would it work? Especially if someone like you were to use it and you're just starting out a channel and you just want a decent quality mic that you know people won't click off your video right away on. Because that sucks when people just leave your video just because they can't stand the sound of your voice or just the way your mic sounds. So I'm hoping that this microphone at the price that it's at will suffice quality wise. And just for a comparison, the Yeti mic sounds like this. How does this sound compared to the fee fine mic. I know the Blue Yeti microphone is going to sound better, but is it worth $100 compared to just paying 30 for a microphone that has pretty good quality? That's a question you have to ask yourself when you're investing in a microphone, especially when you're starting out a new channel. So the last test I want to do with the fee fine microphone is I want to see how it performs if I'm in a game with friends. Can they hear me? What if I'm streaming a game and I want to talk to chat versus the people that I'm playing the game with? Can I mute it without something popping on the screen saying my mic is turned off or whatever? So I'm going to try to find some people to add uh, just, just so I can test this thing out. There you are. How does the microphone sound? I got a new one for, uh, oh. for gaming. It's louder. It's louder? Okay. Yeah. Damn. Okay. How's it sound now? It's can about the same. About the same. All right, I have it almost at mute. Can you hear me? No. 
guess. That's Wait, too low. That's too low? Okay. Yeah. Trying it up a little more. How about that? I guess that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just testing it out for a video, actually. So I, uh, I just wanted to see the what new it... mic? Yeah. So I'm going to see if the mute fixture works, too, now. All right, I just pressed uh, the mute. Sweet, nothing came... This is good. Nothing came up on screen. I pressed it, and it looks good. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, it's better. So that was a bit of a test of the Fifine microphone. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below, especially compared to the Blue Yeti that I'm speaking on again right now. That That's my main microphone. It'll remain my main microphone, of course, but I wanted to give this $30 mic a test, and I'm going to listen to the audio and see what it sounded like. Uh, right now, I'm playing it on my computer through my headphones. Huh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, oh, man. I'm I'm a little bit impressed. That's not bad at all, especially for for thirty bucks. Uh, I think just some adjustments I'll make on my end, or that I would make, is that I would turn down the uh, the volume here. You know the you know the volume knob that I show. I would turn that down just a little bit more, so that it, it wouldn't be kind of like like I I heard it just crackle just ever so slightly like with with headphones on. Yeah, like it when it gets a little loud, it'll like you'll hear slightly little uh, peaks in in the audio. But I think with this turned down, maybe it'll sound a little better. Let me try it. Back on the Fifine microphone. So if I turn it up like this, does it get worse? Oh yeah, it gets way worse, wow. All right, I'm gonna turn it down some more here. This level looks to be okay. So how, how does this audio sound at this level? I almost have it at zero <laughs> for, the, for how high my voice will be pitched. But I think the, looking at the levels here, it, it, I think it's better than where it was at you just have to keep it pretty low and it'll sound pretty decent that's gonna do it for today's video guys hopefully you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below what you thought about this microphone and if you're interested in getting a cheap microphone that doesn't sound terrible check this uh mic out i'll put a link to the you know, the amazon place wherever in the link description below go check it out um from what i'm hearing of it it's, it sounds pretty good i i you know i think i would recommend this if you're on a budget and you want a decent microphone honestly from what i was just listening to that doesn't sound bad at all if you guys came to enjoy the video make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up helps my channel out a ton and i will see you guys in the next video peace out